Let, let us look at how you can use the Alibaba Cloud tools to migrate databases like MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server, Redis, and MongoDB to Alibaba Cloud. One of the tools that you can use to migrate to Alibaba Cloud is using DTS or Data Transmission Service. Basically, it's an any-to-any -any database migration or replication. It supports incremental changes as well, so you can migrate the data even when there is traffic hitting your source database. So effectively, you can bring your Redis database to cloud, or you can bring a MySQL to RDS or PolarDB. This is how the DTS migration process work. Step one, what DTS will do is it will extract the table structure definition from the system table on the source site, initialize those structure on the target database. User can also define the primary key, the table types, or the partition key during the configuration. Once the structure has been created on the target database, next, DTS will get a full data using SQL statement command to do a full data initialization. While that is running, DTS will also capture the incremental log based on the transaction log of the source database. For MySQL, it could be capturing bin log. For Postgres, it could be capturing wall log. So while the full data initialization is running, the incremental changes are being captured continuously and stored into the log store on DTS. And once the data, the full data initialization has completed, DTS will start replaying those log changes from the incremental log store. When all the incremental changes has been replicated to the target database, the source and the target is in sync. And the delay is usually in seconds or minutes level. Let us look at how you can migrate your Oracle database to PolarDB for Oracle. Some of the pain points when you're trying to migrate out of Oracle, number one, it's difficult to migrate and transform. The reason is it's hard to evaluate what is the cost to do the migration or transformation because you don't know the complexity. There's no way to gauge how long it will take, what are the man hours required, and what are the code changes required. Two, lack of methodology and utilities. Today, there are some open source tools out there where you can migrate from Oracle to Postgres, but there's not many commercial tools that you can use that with support at enterprise level. Number three, difficult to choose a target database engine. Do you want to migrate from Oracle to another proprietary database or you want to migrate to open source database? How compatible is Oracle with the open source database? What is the reliability, security, scalability? The point is, it's hard to evaluate all these different databases without a proper tool. This is talking about Alibaba's journey in Oracle migration. We started the project in 2006. It took us nine years to finally migrate out of Oracle entirely. The last Oracle database was decommissioned in 2013. From all the experience, the nine years of experience of migrating out of Oracle database, we have gathered a lot of experience in that. So, in essence, we actually came up with a step-by-step -step scientific approach to migrating out of Oracle database. Number one, step one, is assessment. Do data collection on your source database, on your Oracle database, find out what are the store procedures being used, what are the table structure being used. From then on, you need to analyze the results of the data collected, analyze the data access pattern, analyze the feasibility, determine the target database, Next is decision making. From the analysis report, you want to find out what are the risks, what are the components that needs to be modified, how big of a change is required. You also want to have the ability to provide suggestions on rebuilding them. Are there any things that you can convert automatically for the uh, store procedures to Java? Can you do automatic SQL online translation? You need to rebuild all those database objects and application objects. Next is implementation, followed by optimization. To do this end-to-end, -end, we have came up with a tool called the Advanced Database and Application Migration. In short form, we call it ADAM. ADAM is able to provide all these four steps from end-to-end, -end, starting from the assessment of your source database down to the implementation and automatic conversion of store procedures and SQL statements or even objects. Back in year 2000, Alibaba Group was actually running the largest REC cluster in Asia with 24 nodes. 
it was expensive to maintain, complex, the licensing cost, it actually hinders our business innovation because at that point in time, Alibaba was business was growing rapidly. So there was a management, there was a motivation to move out of Oracle. So we built an expert team around us to design the roadmap. We came up with tools uh, like DRDS and EDAS to, to ensure that we can distribute the workload across several products. Came up with several phases of migration. Finally, in year 2015, we managed to move out, move to MySQL. We managed to DIOE the entire um, stack, moving to PolarDB with Adam and DTS. So Adam provides professionally scientific approach to migrate out of Oracle database. It performs the evaluation for you, the transformation suggestion. This is quite important because you want to know exactly what part of SQL command is not compatible with the target database. What are the risks involved? What are the utilities that you need to convert? And what are some of the post-migration performance evaluation and optimization? This is a architecture diagram of PolarDB. PolarDB is a cloud native OLTP database. On the top, we have the application connecting into a Polar proxy, which does automatic read write load balancing. It's a single master with multiple readers, up to 15 read only nodes with a centralized shared storage that is distributed in nature. Each data chunk is replicated three times. This means that when you add a new read-only node, it only takes less than five minutes. Instant scaling up or down, less than 15 minutes. Polar Proxy provides the ability to perform transparent read-write load balancing. This means that your application only has to use the cluster endpoints to do the automatic routing for you. Polar Store has the ability to perform automatic storage scaling up to 100 terabytes. Backups is done at snap, uh, storage snapshot level. So the backup usually take in minutes, even for terabyte size. Because of this architecture, we're able to achieve performance of up to six times faster than open source MySQL. So how do you do the end-to-end -end Oracle migration? You have your source database, your target database with PolarDB using Adam and DTS. First, use Adam to do the metadata collection sampling profile your application workload, what objects are being used, what are the SQL commands being run, evaluate the risk, come up with a project plan, do the automatic data transformation, the data verification and SQL verification. Using DTS, you can replicate those data into PolarDB. Then you can open up your PolarDB temporary for um, rewrite your application testing. You can do your performance testing can simulate your production workload against it. After that, you can do a gray switch over, you can do additional stress tests if you want to, then finally do a cutover. So this is a end-to-end, -end, a very scientific approach in migrating out of Oracle database. Now, let us look at how we can migrate HBase or Cassandra database to Alibaba Cloud. There are several tools that you can use to migrate to Alibaba Cloud, HBase, or Cassandra. You can use the typical import, export, import, or you can use for Cassandra like SS Table Loader. If you're using HBase, you can use the snapshot copy table. However, we recommend LTS, or we call it the Lindum Tunnel service. The reason for this is because you can migrate the data online. The time is usually in hours. The downtime is in minutes. The reason for the downtime is so you can switch the connection endpoint for the database. Complexity is really low because you're using the UI uh, tool to, LTS is UI based. So you're using the LTS to configure the migration. LTS is a web-based UI service, very minimal impact on the source cluster because LTS reads the change log. It supports both full and incremental data changes. You can also use LTS to build a active active cluster between HBase or Cassandra. It is also fault tolerant. So if there's any failover on your source database or the target database, it will be able to tolerate that. So this is looking at LTS for Cassandra, is doing a snapshot SS table, and then following it, it's doing the increment itself. Summary. When you're looking at migrating database to Alibaba Cloud, you can either choose to run your own database or use a managed service. What are some of the benefits or values of using a cloud database service in Alibaba Cloud? Service availability, security, data reliability, all this thing is built in. You don't have to worry about HA, backups, patching. All this can be configured and done automatically for you. Scalability, if you need additional read-only node, just have, with a few clicks of button, you can scale out. So with if you're using RDS today, you get out of box HA, automatic backup, replication backup, all these are done for you. You reduce your 
toil work with so your DBAs doesn't have to manage the databases, HA backups and stuff, even though it looks a bit more expensive with running RDS. But in essence, if you count in the, the costing for the operations work, the hours put in, you're actually saving more money. So we are here to help. Today, if you need to migrate from your on-premise or other cloud to Alibaba cloud, you can talk to us, talk to your sales account manager. We have cloud partners that can do the migration for you. We have the 10 technical account managers can do that advisory work. We also have a professional services team. We also have, my, like myself, we have the uh, solution and database architect team. They, they can support databases like MySQL, PolarDB, even migrate to ADB for OLAP workload or even for NoSQL databases. Thank you. I hope you learned something from the slides.